Hello and welcome to a Suntop unboxing. This is one I am very excited about because this is the last unicorn by Peter S. Beagle, the classic edition. Uh, wasn't able to swing the numbered edition, uh, which is a shame because that numbered edition is stunning. But I did manage to pick up a classic edition, which is good enough for me. Wow, this is one that I was thrilled to hear about. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful artwork by Tom Kidd, uh, featured on the bookmark right there. Uh, this, all the editions here are printed letterpress, so even the classic edition is printed letterpress. This was a very quick sellout, um, sold out almost immediately. Um, of course, you got a very, I mean, it's light colored for a centipede press slipcase, but it reminds you of a centipede press uh, slipcase with the two-tone cloth. Um, this name on the spine there. This is the only edition to feature a dust jacket. I believe the other editions have the dust jacket artwork within the novel, but they don't actually feature a dust jacket itself. So, boom! There is Tom Kidd's stunning dust jacket artwork. Picture of Peter S. Beagle there. Um, very, very nice moray style cloth. You can see the design. The design is making my camera very unhappy. Uh, this edition does have illustrated endpapers. And then I believe I read online that all three editions have some sort of fold out artwork uh, within. There is the unicorn talking to the butterfly. Uh, if you have not read The Last Unicorn, I highly recommend checking it out. It is a fantasy classic. I actually did a book review on the channel back when this was uh, announced. Uh, so, uh, check out that book review. Uh, it is a stunning, stunning classic work of fantasy. Uh, appropriate for all ages. You know, it's, it's not too crazy for uh, your children, but you will still enjoy it as an adult. Of course, we are going to have artwork throughout. There's the harpy that uh, the unicorn, our, our titular unicorn faces uh, at Fortuna's uh, circus. So, the uh, it's a story of a unicorn, the last of her kind, as she goes out to uh, find what happened to her brothers and sisters, the other unicorns, uh, and she meets various folks along the way such as a very, very strange magician, uh, Molly Gru, and they make it all the way to the king. Oh, I'm not going to show you that. I'm not going to show you that one because I don't want to uh, get flagged on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, the unicorn, upon reaching this kingdom, uh, has... Some magic be held upon her, uh, courtesy of that uh, very strange wizard Schmendrick, Schmendrick the magician. But it is it is a marvelous, marvelous tale. And uh, there's her versus the bull, the red bull. This is going to be the fold out. Rest of the unicorns there, emerging from the sea. But, uh, yeah, so this was published in three states by Subterranean Press, not Subterranean Press, Suntup Press. Uh, the classic edition, which is right here, very short, uh, very short novel, signed by both Peter S. Beagle and Tom Kidd. Uh, the numbered edition, which was limited to 250 copies, which has a uh, thicker page stock, at least I think it's going to be thicker. Uh, it has a different, like, mold-made page, if I recall correctly, um... But the boards of that one are like hand-woven tapestries uh, that represent old unicorn ta tapestries in the Middle, a Middle Ages, which is just too cool. It's stunning. It has uh, the last unicorn on one side, and I believe it has the red bull on the other side. And uh, then there's a lettered edition, which it just... Whew, that thing is full leather. Uh, it has the unicorn... Uh, kind of stamped into the cover through uh, some foil work. 
and then you're the Red Bull on the other sides of the foil work. But that is never going to happen for me. Like it's just no. I mean, if I was able to snag the numbered edition, I'd be I'd be ecstatic and over the moon. Didn't manage that uh, because I had jumped off the train at that point. Uh, but I I did manage the classic edition, and it is still absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then there's actually. A, uh, I mentioned Subterranean Press earlier, mistakenly for Suntop. Subterranean Press is doing their own Beagle publication. Uh, they've already done Beagle publication prior. They did. Uh, it was the lost version uh, of what the last unicorn originated as. Um, but they just announced a, another uh, follow-up tale, uh, which features... Well, a follow-up in the world of The Last Unicorn, I believe. We may see Molly Gru and Schmendrick, uh, but I believe it primarily focuses on the prince uh, from the second half of The Last Unicorn. And I believe copies for that are still available. Uh, they are a little bit pricier. I think it was actually cheaper for this letterpress edition than it was for that subterranean press edition, which is not printed letterpress, but it is what it is. I have it ordered because, uh, well... I'm a sucker for The Last Unicorn. I'm a sucker for Peter S. Beagle. I've only ever read uh, two pieces of Beagle. Uh, but I enjoyed both of them. Both of them did, in fact, feature unicorns. You had The Last Unicorn, and then you had In Calabria, or Calabria, which I also did a book review of that on my channel as well. Uh, unicorns all around. The man loves his unicorns, but he has a knack for it. Um, so, yeah, if you are out there and you get a chance to pick up a classic edition or any edition of this book, uh, be sure to add it to your library. Even if it's not the fancy Suntup edition, if you just get a copy of the book, a trade edition, you will still be happy. It is quite a remarkable read, and it's a quick read. So if you're not enjoying it, you'll be over with the novel very soon. Uh, so I have a couple more unboxings to be doing in the upcoming days, so please consider subscribing to the channel to check those out. I also do at least one book review a week on Tuesdays, so there's plenty of content to hold you over. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.